What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Call of the Wild video. So in the last video in this series, we talked about Arctic Canada as a possibility for the next map in the Hunter Call of the Wild. If you guys didn't see that video, the link will be below. We talked about how cool it would be to not only have a true Canada map, but to also have a true Arctic map and Arctic Canada obviously could do both of those things in the same map. What I didn't talk about in that video as I purposely left it out so I could make another video to talk about it was what would be the great one on an Arctic Canada map? What are some possibilities for what the new great one could be with the release of Arctic Canada? Please subscribe. I think there's one choice here that really stands out above the rest. And for me, that's got to be polar bears. Polar bears are the apex predator of the Arctic. And I think the game needs more of that kind of thing when it comes to the great ones. Like another one that's just an obvious one to me is like the lion great one in Africa. I think it's crazy. Like how how do we have a great one tar and no great one lion? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, we've already got a bear great one. You might be saying like we've already got the black bear, but like the black bear, that's not an apex predator. I just think having a huge polar bear great one on an Arctic map would just fit so well. Obviously, some other cool uh, options would be like a reindeer great one. I know a lot of people would love to see a reindeer variation of a great one. I think they could do a lot of cool stuff with that, and I wouldn't be against that at all. I think that would be awesome. Another one is obviously the muskox, but I just don't think either of those would really could compare to what they could do for a great one polar bear. Not to mention polar bears are a super fascinating animal. They're one of my favorite animals. They are probably the number one animal that I would like to see added to the game. The top one for me right at the top of my list. They are the biggest bear in the world. Bigger than grizzlies, bigger than brown bear by quite a bit. They're also the fiercest bears. They are fully carnivorous. They live strictly off of hunting and eating other animals as there is no vegetation for them to eat obviously in the Arctic. So they'll hunt for hours, days, even trying to catch a seal. They'll hunt holes in the ice. They'll hunt and wait for the seals to kind of come around and they'll jump down and grab a seal if they can get one. Only 2% of their hunts are successful. So sometimes they have to live off of smaller animals, smaller mammals until they can finally catch a seal. For thousands of years, polar bears have reigned as the top predator in the Arctic marine regions. Aside from a few massive walruses able to pierce and unlock the polar bear's body with their powerful tusks, no one outside of humans stands a chance at hurting these animals. Polar bears are are insanely good hunters. They can smell their prey from up to 32 kilometers away and can likely smell seals underneath compacted snow or ice from a kilometer away. As I said, they are absolutely massive. These things, the big males can be up to three meters in length. That's nine feet and they can weigh up to 800 kilograms. They're not only the biggest bear species in the world, they're also the largest land carnivore on the planet. Now, here's another thing to take into account. And I actually learned this today while doing some some research and just just reading up on on polar bears and some polar bear facts and stuff there's actually the existence of a polar bear grizzly bear hybrids as recently as 2006 genetic testing confirmed the existence of polar bear grizzly bear hybrids also known as growler bear or pizzly bear the hybrid bear physically resembles an intermediate between the two species but as wild hybrids are usually birthed from polar bear mothers they are raised and behave like polar bears this is absolutely wild i had no idea this is a thing. It, it's blowing my mind. The ability for polar bears and grizzly bears to interbreed is unsurprising when you consider that polar bears evolved from brown bears as recently as 150,000 years ago. So polar bears, as we know them, have only really been around for 150,000 years, which is actually crazy. That's super recent. Another really cool thing that I want to just uh, mention about polar bears, a lot of people don't know this, is that polar bears actually don't have white fur. They're actually not white. They have pitch black skin and their fur is hollow or translucent. The only reason they appear white is from the reflection coming from the sun. I think they could do a lot of really cool things with the different variations of polar bears. I think uh, the polar bear grizzly bear hybrid, like that would be a really cool variation. They look really cool. So obviously that would be a really interesting variation. Almost look like a kind of like a leucistic, partially brown uh, variation. You know, the fabled growler bear, like that would just be so cool. I think a battle scarred, battle wounded uh, variation with some scars, maybe some missing patches of fur, maybe a polar bear that got into a tussle with a walrus, maybe maybe some blood. There's a lot of really cool things that they could definitely 
do. And I also would really like if somehow they could make it so the animals in the game look bigger. I feel like with a lot of the bigger animals in the game, it, you don't really get that sense of just how big these animals are. It would be really cool if they could figure out a way to make the polar bears look like as big as they are. The males are actually twice the size of the females. So I'd like to see that emphasized if polar bears are ever brought to the game. But, you know, a great one polar bear, let's say, you know, a thousand pound polar bear. It should look absolutely giant when you see one. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Just wanted to make a video talking about polar bears and how cool they are and how much I love them and how much I would love to see one in the game, especially a great one. I would love to see this implemented without drink zones, without the, the possibility to farm the ever living out of these things until, you know, nobody cares about them anymore. I think it would be cool if, uh, you know, a great one polar bear would be something that maybe you can't get a ton of and maybe, you know, bring back that feeling of, you know, getting a great one every few months or something. So so that when you do get one, it's super exciting and it's not like, well, I just got one on Wednesday and then I got one on Friday and it's Sunday and here's another one. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Would you like to see an Arctic Canada map? Would you like to see a polar bear as the great one for an Arctic Canada map? Or would you rather see something like an Arctic wolf, maybe maybe a muskox or maybe the reindeer or maybe something else? Let me know you guys. Let me know what you guys would like to see in a future video of this style. What would you like to see me cover as far as potential things that could be brought to the game? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, please remember to drop a like. It helps so much. Remember to subscribe to the channel as well. If you haven't already subscribed, we're on the road to 60,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.